Hi everyone. All right, I'm here to share really quick my travel journal that I have created for the Your Paper Pantry Swap. It's really cool. I've never I've heard of these and they're they've been really popular. Um, like I remember them back when I first became you know like a paper crafter, but I never participated in one. And you know they're called uh, Red Robins. Um, they're called uh, Circle Journals. You know travel journals so what it is is a group of ladies or you know group of crafters and you create um, whatever it is that you're creating but what you're doing is basically each of you are creating something and you're passing it on to your fellow swap group um, a fellow swap group member who then adds to it adds to your creation so this is a very first time I've ever participated in one so I'm super excited and it's over like I said at your at your paper pantry so each of us had to pick a theme for our um, traveling journal and then create it, you know, cre create your journal and um, add your pages, I'll show you right now, and then mail it off to the next person on the list who then turns around and creates something based on your theme and then it continues from there until it um, safely makes it back uh, to you. So this is what I've done. I'm trying to get, I'm going to try to get through it really quick because I, I had the best time making this and I just can't wait to see what everyone else adds to it. All right, so what I do often is I go to the Goodwill and I buy old books and you can find at my Goodwill like any old hardcover book for a buck 99. So that's what I do and I cut it apart. I take off the cover. I mean, I cut out the pages and then I cover the covers with paper or however I want, you know, to decorate them and then I punch holes with my crocodile and that becomes, you know, my journal. So it's a great um, way to recycle and um, give you some nice strong covers for your book instead of going out and buying like a brand new one. All right, so I covered it with some Prima paper. I sprayed it with some glitter. I made one of these flowers um, from a flower a flower tutorial by Tracy Loves to Scrap, I believe, and DM Wadley 74. I believe Tracy Loves to Scrap uh, where is where DM Wadley was um, inspired. But I absolutely love um, that type of flower. So I made a big flower. And then I just glued all in here just um, flowers that I folded in half. I did some grunge board, like a flourish, you know, to be the vine that I've painted. And then I crackle painted. Uh, I painted with some ink and then I crackle painted. Um, I found this great quote from Anne Frank. And it says, who would ever think that so much went on in the soul of a young girl? So uh, my theme is I am woman. And you know the way I feel about mentoring and encouraging and just being a woman, the, all the things um, that we go through and that we learn and all the labels and things that we are to other people. And so I just want anything that's put in here to be related to that because basically what I want this to be is like a handbook for uh, future girls, you know, hopefully, of course, passing this on to my daughters. So... Um, um, I got some little Scrabble tiles and I spelled out the word bean because that's um, a nickname that my dad had given me. And then I found this frame that I had and I just put, I photocopied in black and white an old picture of myself. I was probably about six. And that's why I put the, you know, the picture of myself young and with that quote and then just covered this grunge board uh, crown with, I painted it with some cold silver Lemire uh, super sparkle paint. I really like their paints. They're really good. And then I brushed this glitter over the top of it when it was uh, wet. So, and then added like the little flower and the bling and some lace. And so, okay, so that's that. Now the inside, oh, let, let me show you the back. I hand stamped it all over handmade art, handmade art, you know. So basically, like I signed it first and then I put, you know, June. And then the next person that gets it, I want them to sign it and then, you know, to date it. And so hopefully, you know, everyone that adds to it, and then when I get it back, I'll send it to a couple of my friends that I want them to do pages to, and they can do the same. So that's so kind of like a passport, you know. So when, once I get it back, I'm going to be sending it to Margo. Um, she's going to add to it. Okay, so this is the inside, and I photocopied some journal paper, uh, excuse me, some ledger paper to cover the inside, both the back and the front, you know, the same. And then one of my favorite quotes by Washington Irving, there is in every true, true woman's heart, a spark of heavenly fire which lies dormant in the broad daylight of prosperity 
but which kindles up and beams and blazes in the dark hour of adversity. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do myself in here, but for now that's how it is. And then I have a I have a sign in page and I cut this out of the Cricut and then I'm number one and I'm going to put my name and then the date that I mailed it and stuff. Okay, so here I just basically told a little bit about myself and what I want this book to represent and um, just, you know, name, age, children married and exactly what I want everyone to do. And so um, I'll, I'm not going to read the whole thing, but I'll just tell you what I wrote. Um, I want this journal to be a handbook, you might say. Years from now, I want my daughters and sons to look through and read inspiring, strength-renewing stories. That is where you come in, um, speaking of the person that will be working on it next. Please express in your own style and colors what being a woman means to you. Share words of wisdom, a heartbreak, a life lesson, true love. Please create a two-page layout using any media you desire. My only request is that it be 100% from your heart. And then I put, I chose these two pictures of myself to represent all the possibilities that lay ahead. The picture that was on the front and then this picture. And then I wrote, boy, what I tell this girl. And that's me. This is an old technique that I learned like a long time ago. I took a class where you photocopy pictures on, colored pictures onto black and white. And then you go in and color certain things. Just gives it our old vintage look. And then I put, I was already being to my dad, Roswell, New Mexico, 1976. And then a hope adage ticket. And the bottom I put a rub on. It's a quote by Dolly Parton. Find out who you are and do it on purpose. So that's that page. And then let me show you the back cover. Like I said, I didn't do anything. I just stamped, I love being a girl. So this is my first page. Okay, so this is basically the instructions. You know, sign in like a guest book. And this is the first page. Okay, so that's like my letter to all the fellow, you know, artists. And this is my first page that I created. I'm going to make this quick. Um, it's titled Rachel and Elmo. And this is my first entry. Okay. So it says, A Tale of Friendship. My heart is forever at your service. And that's a quote by William Shakespeare. Rachel and Elmo. This is a story of two friends. Rachel and I. Elmo is extra. To all who read this, call your closest friend and tell her you love her or him. So Rachel and I met about eight or nine years ago at a stamp party. I loved her instantly. We became friends, and I never looked back. She always welcomes you with a hug and a kiss. If I find myself in a pickle, I'd call Rachel. A month after her wedding, almost two years ago, Rachel was diagnosed with stage 4 breast cancer. She was 32. It had been quite a while since we'd last seen each other when I finally saw her after chemo and a double mastectomy. We hugged and cried. I said, you're beautiful. She replied, I look like a 40-year-old bald man. That was a year ago. I attended her 34th birthday party a month ago. She looked lovely with thick black curly hair. So what about Elmo, you ask? We stayed up till 3.30 a.m. the other night crafting. I worked on swaps. She cut Elmo stuff on the cricket for a birthday party. We drank raspberry lemonade and ate Tostitos. Then we had toast with jelly and coffee. She made me a flower out of Elmo scraps. I told her I loved her. She answered, I love you too. I don't know how long I'll have her, but I will cherish every last second. Women rock. Bean. And then uh, she left me this on my desk. We were laughing, putting it up on our faces like a mask. So I put it in here and I put Rachel left behind my own Elmo mask. And then she made th me this flower out of the scraps that she was going to throw out. And I put a Rachel original an Elmo scraps flower. So um, that's my first entry. So um, I hope journal that you make it safely on your travels and you make it back to me. And um, I, I truly, truly t loved creating this. It was so much fun. And I really encourage you to get involved with one of these because I can't wait to see, like have this filled with different artwork, you know, and I just put some really good quality cardstock in here really thick and then whatever the next artist wants to do. So my journal's on its way and um, happy travels. I hope to see you back soon. <laughs> Bye ladies. Be inspired.